Hello, I'm Frances Richards with Motion System Design Magazine, and I'm here with Rick Wood, Managing Director of Roll On Corporation. And we're here at IMTS, and today Rick is going to talk a little bit about some of the challenges and solutions with doors. What do you have to say about that, Rick? Well, you know, doors are kind of an odd topic, and nobody pretty much thinks about them. You don't think about them until they don't work. It's kind of like I'm, a, I'm from Ohio, and when I was growing up, Woody Hayes was a football coach for Ohio State. And Woody used to say, there's, when you pass the ball, there's only three things that can happen, and only two of them are good, or one of them is good. So that's why he always ran the ball. But in the same thing with a door. When the door's supposed to open, if it doesn't happen, and the door is supposed to close and it doesn't close, the only, there's only one of the options of the three. The door opens and closes when it should. That's good. The other two are near catastrophic. Uh, roll on as a company, one of the things we do specialize is in doors and openings and managing the opening of doors. Um, whether it's in uh, trains, uh, which we're uh, very invested and involved with the train uh, industry. Also, it's with machine tools, it's the same kind of thing. If you can't open the door and get your part out, or you can't close the door when it's time to put your um, operate the machine, you've got machine down uh, a machine down situation. So roll on has invested quite a bit of t uh, in uh, we've invested quite a bit in the um, technology of opening and closing doors and using our telescopic guides and our compact rail in order to help manage that activity. Um, here we have a demo showing the telescopic rail and how a door system might use, how might one might use a door system. One of the things, doors are typically mounted on uh, non-precise sheet metal surfaces. Those sheet metal surfaces have a lot of misalignment, um, they're not uh, highly machined, and nobody wants to spend a lot of money. However, and the roll-on guide can operate in those poorly aligned conditions and also highly contaminated conditions. Those are the things that our telescopic guides are very good with. So it, it really, it, it's something that, um, the high quality manufacturers of machine tools have spent a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of activity toward managing the door and it's something that uh, their users and the customers really appreciate because when the door is supposed to close it closes when the door is supposed to open it opens and it really uh, sometimes it sounds simple and mundane but those simple and mundane things are the things that can cause a uh, high, high degree of downtime. Yeah, sounds like a really important safety issue. Well it is a safety issue because honestly you can't operate the machine when the doors open. Same with the train. You can't operate the train when the, uh, when the door stays open. In Montreal, every time the train comes into the station, if the door doesn't close when it's supposed to, they have to send another train, evacuate the people, put them on the other train, and then tow that train back. It's a very, very expensive process. Any uh, transit authority will tell you it's a very expensive process when the door doesn't operate right. Same thing with the machinery. Um, the machine's not working, the machine's not making money, company's not making money, everybody's on it. Yeah, downtime gets very expensive. It does. Can you talk a little bit about the alignment and how you um, ensure that it's at such high quality? Well, the good news about the alignment is that there's structural stability in our part itself. And so rather than relying on the structural stability of the, the surface that it's mounted to, um, we can uh, the, the structure of the rail and the telescopic rail is very robust and it's very, it's very rigid. And that way it gives some support that uh, maybe the, the thin piece of sheet metal wouldn't have or the piece of plexiglass wouldn't have and that's 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 required to go back and forth okay so what kind of loads and weights can these um, rails support as when we're talking about doors well on telescopic rails i mean we we typically say we can go up to a thousand pounds a meter out on a cantilever cantilevered load on a telescopic guide on our largest typically you won't see that on a door but you can see some pretty good loads on a door and yet managing that missile line and the, uh, the, that door to be able to swing in the ways it needs to swing, that's pretty tricky. So it, it, you know, there's a lot of combinations and things that people do, um, but certainly roll-on is central to uh, sol solving that problem. Okay, and I know you also mentioned contamination. Can you speak a little bit about that? The, 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 the telescopic rail and the compact rail is not susceptible to contamination the way other bearing systems or linear guide systems might be. Where other linear guide systems have a very small roller ro balls uh, riding on the track, any very, very bit small with only 10 micron clearances, a very small amount of uh, debris can um, uh, cause problems with the recirculation and uh, the rolling and cause spalling. On the 
on the other side, with Roland, what we have is our cage design. It's, it's more of an open cage design and allows uh, the, the contaminant to be shed away from the ball, the roller, and the guide. And I mean, it, it's more open, but also more open for everything to fall out and get out of the way, almost like a cow catcher would work on a, on a railroad track. Just, it just is able to scrape it away and then uh, it, almost self-cleaning, self cleaning, uh, self self-regulating on that. Sounds like a great system. Is there anything else, any other tips you might want to add that engineers should know when they're looking to specify door systems? Well, typically it's the last thing they think about, but it sometimes ought to be the first thing they think about because that's it's a critical aspect that they usually miss until they have a problem. Mm -hmm. So think early, plan early, problems go away. Okay, thank you, Rick. Thank you.